it's Sammy from Scrap Masters Paradise and I had received a comment recently. I'm sorry, I don't know who left it. It's just on the top of my head and I'm trying to film this after another video. But somebody recently left me a comment saying that I kind of glossed over, they were saying something along the lines of, you kind of glossed over your lighting and a lot of us do YouTube. I'd really like to know how your setup is and give me more details basically. So this video is going to be a comprehensive how I film and lighting video. So we are sitting in the room during the daytime and I try my best to use daytime light whether I'm filming like filming the scrapbook layout or filming in front of the camera like I am now. I'm using daylight right now. I've got a big giant window um, right in front of me. It's actually like a double window thing and I film with natural light as much as humanly possible. The light in here I will show like the light it's way up high. We are going to get some sort of lighting Put in a different one. This is just the standard one. When we built the house, this is what came with it. And we did not upgrade lighting <laughs> except like to add can lights here and there. But we plan on putting like a ceiling fan and a better light in here. But for right now, it's like a very yellow tinged bulb and it's not very bright. It's very dim. It's way, way up, which I'll show you. Um, but it's just not the best light. So I can't really rely on that at night. So I do have two lights set up on my desk. They're just desk lamps from Ikea. I will list the name down here and in the description box below. I think right now it was only showing they had the black lights available but i have the white ones and it doesn't matter use whatever light bulb you want i'll see if the light bulbs have the information on them i just got them at ikea it is kind of a harsh light i'll go ahead and show an example of that too while i'm talking but it's a very harsh light so page protectors um, poly bags of containers of things like stamp packaging will shine off of the light so you will get glares with these lights you can like put I don't know what, put tissue or some sort of lace over the lights and clamp it on to cover up the light a little bit and it won't be so harsh, but I just don't care that much. <laughs> I'm not filming like professional level here. I'm just filming with what I got. I had big giant lights in the past. I do have previous videos of how my lighting and my video setup is, but I just, I don't care that much. I didn't like the big giant lights while they were great. They were so honking big that they took up so much space. And these ones are so nice because I can move them. They rotate and swivel and I can put them against the wall so they're not taking up a whole bunch of my room, which is very, very helpful. And I can just pull them out as needed. And even when I'm not filming at night, if I'm in here scrapbooking at night, generally I'll have one or both of the lights on just to give me more light. And it's really helpful. But if I'm filming during the day, nine times out of 10, I'm just using the window light. And that's generally what I prefer. I'd rather film during the day. And like right now, my big girl is in in-person kindergarten. We finally sent her back to in-person and my little one's taking a nap. So I can film during nap times now during the day. So it's not all done at night. I won't have to use the lights quite so much now that I'm filming during nap times. The other part of this equation is the camera and I will film on my iPhone to show you guys the camera. It is a Sony Alpha A5000 and there are different models of this. These are really cool mirrorless cameras so they're smaller than the big, big giant cameras. And I really like this one because the screen flips up. So like right now I'm seeing the screen and I also can change out the lenses. There are lenses that you can get from Sony for this camera. And there are also off-brand lenses that fit on this mount. I think this is an E mount, so you can get other camera lenses. I have thought about getting one that'll like blur the background a little bit better, but I just haven't done it because they are so expensive and I just don't know how much value I would personally get from it. So I do have a couple of lenses on my list. Eventually, maybe I will get one. When I'm sitting here filming, I have the tripod here and you're gonna see all my stuff everywhere, but that's okay. Um, this is the camera itself. I really, really like it. The screen flips up. I turned it off because the camera started getting hot and it does have a battery in it, but I ended up getting an AC adapter. You can see it's a cord. It just looks like the battery, but sticks out right here and it plugs into the wall. So I don't have to worry about charging batteries anymore. I do have a little battery charger thingamabobber and extra batteries possibly in here, probably somewhere else as well. But I've got, there's one. I've got two or three of these batteries, but it was really, really annoying to have to keep like switching out the batteries, charging the batteries. So I ended up just plugging this in and this is what I use most of the time. And I really, really like it. We will use this camera for our annual wildflower photos and that's pretty much it. Like this is just um, what I use. I have it always just connected to the camera 
And then I am using Amazon Basics tripods. So these ones are great because they have a clip in. Let's see if I can do this one handed without dropping the camera. It's got a quick release. You can see the quick release there. And so I've got one camera on this tripod. There we go. And I can quick release. It's easier with two hands, obviously, but I can quick release that. And then I have another one up here and I'll talk about this setup in just a second. But what I did was I rotated this thing all the way up. You have to like loosen things. I rotated it all the way up and used a saw and sawed it. And I was like, it was in the middle of summertime. The garage was like 90 degrees and I was out there sawing, <laughs> sawing this and sweating my butt off, but I got it done relatively quickly. And so it's just extended and sawed off at the end. And then I just stuck it up here. I positioned it so it aims right down at my desk and I made sure I tried to keep it pretty level with the lines on my uh, thing. Sorry, I may have been covering up the mic. I'm trying not to, um, but it kind of lines up so that the lines are straight across and it also clips in. It's the same clip. So I don't have to change the little plate on my camera. I can just pop it either place that I want it. And I held it up here with a quick grip. And this Amazon tripod is really cheap. It's just their basic tripod. And this part is sort of flat where the ridges are, where it catches in the little thing. So that part I can lay flat with the shelf. And I got this shelf at World Market a few years back and I just clamped it to that shelf and it works really, really nicely that way. And so here are the lights themselves. They are just from Ikea. They're pretty cheap as far as lighting goes. And they just kind of rotate and swivel all the ways. They are clamped to the desk. You can see that I haven't like screwed them in, but you could screw them in if you want to. And then as far as the bulb itself, I don't know what this is. It's just what I got from Ikea. So we'll take a peek here. It says the information, that's a caution. There you go. Tells you all the information. 2700 Kelvins LED. There you go. So that's all the information from my bulbs there. And I just have two of those. It rotates all the way around. I can line them up while I'm scrapbooking here. So I've got the camera aimed down at the table, everything out on the table, the lighting to the sides, and it's all out of my way, which I really, really like. I've been using the overhead mount like this for quite a while. Let's see if I can pop the other one in. Filmception here, so. I have the flip screen too, so I can see from when I'm sitting down and I can zoom in how I need to for whatever project that I'm doing. So filmception, there's my screen. That's what I see when I'm filming and it's actually flipped upside down. So in post-production, <laughs> post-filming, in editing, I have to rotate the video footage 180 degrees. It's just pressing the rotate button twice to get it flipped the right way because right now it's upside down. And that's pretty much it as far as the filming itself. And I'll show you guys, this window is gorgeous and massive and it's one of my favorite things. It's just on the front of our house. So I get great, great light coming in here, but look, that ceiling goes up and that dinky little light does not help at all. So we're gonna get something to drop down a little bit further and something a little brighter than that guy because it's pathetic. It doesn't do much for me in here. So I definitely really need the lights, especially at night because that thing's pretty dim. But during the day, I get so much light. These are basically almost closed right now, but I get so much good light coming in from that window, especially on a sunny day like today. So like the whole room's nice and bright and lit up. And you can see Olivia plays shapes. <laughs> this is her disaster zone. But that's pretty much it. I'll link to everything I can find for you guys down below. Um, I got the camera also from Amazon. I'll show you guys my awesome Christmas turbis. <laughs> I got that from Amazon too. So that pretty much walks you through my lighting and filming setup. I really, really love having the two, it's not two cameras, it's two tripod system. I have one camera. I really, really like that system because I can just plop the camera on the tripod here, sit down and talk, or I can plop it up there and then film whatever I'm doing on the screen. And it's really, really nice to have it that way. I really love being able to just use the quick release. That's why I picked this um, tripod in the first place. It's cheap and the plate was interchangeable. So I just use one of the plates and use it for both tripods and it's great. I've used 
the same tripod and then half tripod system for quite a while now and I'm super happy with it. And then the lighting, it gets the job done. It's cheap, it's easy, it stays out of my way, it's not big and bulky, and it'll do the job when I need to film at night. So I really appreciate getting the question. If you guys have other questions, let me know. I can make more videos for you guys. I definitely want to film what you guys want to see, and I hope that that helps you guys. I'll leave all the details in the description box if you want to click over and see more details about anything. I'll try to find the lamps for you guys on the IKEA website so you know exactly which ones I've got. I have a scrapbook room tour 2020 which is where the person was asking me about the lights and things but i will be doing a 2021 tour sometime in the nearish future i don't know it might be like mid-year because i definitely have plans to finish this room off right now i have like a little bit of an office space for like doing paperwork and stuff well that's going to move out of here and this is going to be a completely 100 percent dedicated scrapbook room again which i'm super excited about so right now it's like two thirds of the way scrapbook room. So I've got plans for the other side of the room and I will have a video talking about all that when the time comes. I'm just in like the initial planning stages of it. So I'm very excited about that. We won't do a slat wall again. <laughs> I thought about it, but I just, I can't commit to that again. It was a lot, it was a lot to do. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have other questions, let me know down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.